Chad has entered the chat, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it's Wednesday, <laughs> so you know what that means. It's time for Chad's Corner. No one puts Chad in a corner except for me. All right, so first up, I'm going to try and be positive. Try. This is a key the word. Yeah, you know, I'm just not feeling good about it. No, this. I mean, they lost 6 to 2. They're back again to being a half game ahead in the wild card over Seattle, but Seattle catches up. They're still only two and a half behind the Rangers for the AL West lead, but yeah. Astros are just kind of just that nervousness about them. Right. What are they doing? They're the champs. Like, why? Uh, their pitching is, st other than maybe Verlander and Framber Valdez, their pitching still suspect. And, you know, the hitting's very, it's inconsistent. I mean, you know, they'll put up five runs like they did on Monday, and then they'll come back the next day and only get two. Oh. So. so you can buy your postseason tickets. You can enter the opportunity. Fingers crossed. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if they're going to make it. They, they, let's be honest. Well, they don't, they'll, they'll make it. Hopefully, they, they'll probably be in the wild card round, which they'll be on the road. So basically, you're just buying tickets for the uh, division series. It'll be maybe games three or four. All right. Come on, fellas. Get it together. This is when it matters. Just yeah, saying. Just All right. But. Guess who did win? The Texans. Texans. And they have a big weekend. Well, they got a big weekend coming up. They got the, a, a good team in Pittsburgh who just, you know, took, a, took care of business against the Raiders on yeah. Sunday night. And uh, everybody's excited. But the big news, of course, is J.J. Watt jo going into the uh, Texans ring of honor. It's big Good for honor. him. He yeah, actually had something to say. Uh, I'm so excited to get back in front of you guys. Sunday is going to be a blast. NRG is going to be rocking. Uh, I'm looking forward to just getting back in front of that crowd, having a great atmosphere, watching the boys fly around and play, and just feeling like I'm part of that H-Town family again. I've missed you guys very, very much. It's going to be a great weekend. I'm so excited because his brother plays for the Steelers. So he'll be here. TJ Watt will be there. He'll be, it'll be a really emotional moment for them just to see the Watt family uh, honoring their big brother going into the... I mean, they showed up big way. Yeah, I mean, they often, if you give C.J. Stroud time to throw in the pocket, he can do that and then make some plays. All right. Well, now for the down low on the Dynamo. Yeah. You see what I did there? They, they didn't uh, they see that. A big matchup. This is huge for them. I mean, they're playing it for the U.S. Open Cup Championship, which is something they did in one in uh, 2018. But this is different. They're going against Inter Miami, and the player on that team is Lionel Messi, who, if you don't know, is the, the, <laughs> yeah. the best soccer player in the world. So for them, this is huge. And you can listen to the head coach Ben Olsen. This is a big moment for the t for the Dynamo. Just that it would be a, a, another step in the, the right direction for this club. Uh, uh, it, it would mean that we're moving a little faster than, than maybe we thought in, in some ways, but uh, it, it'll be a, um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of work to do before I can kind of picture that moment. All right, and yeah. look at this. They, I want to thank the Dynamo. They gave us they gave us a little jersey. This is what they're going to be wearing look on the, the pitch back, there. The back. And the back right there. See that? Yes, I, I got my that. initials right there. Right there. No, All right. Tell me, what else are we teasing this weekend? Oh, we got some college football ACC action. Virginia against BC, Boston College. Uh, big, big game for both. They're both trying to catch up and get there and get, get back on top of the ACC standings. It'll be Saturday, 1 o'clock right here on CW39. Well, as always, thank you, my friend.